This is our last one. I'd like to finish off this uh, Durham analysis. Last time we, uh, um, I introduced uh, this uh, diagram to show you this uh, charging process, discharging process. Uh, if we, we use an um, use equation to describe this uh, process, during charge process is uh, by this equation, uh, one over RC, that means if R is large, you have a small charge current. If C is large, your, your, your charging uh, process is uh, slow. So that is one over RC. Now, obviously uh, a charge is um, accumulate, accumulating um, your input voltage, that is a V in. So that is the integrate uh, between zero and uh, tau one. Uh, tau one it is uh, here. That is uh, how long time you uh, integrate. We can use uh, this equation to describe. Now the second part is a uh, discharge. The format is the same. That is between tau one and uh, tau two. Uh, instead of V in, now we switch to uh, V R E F. That is a reference uh, voltage. Do uh, remember those two voltages, uh, different polarity. So one is uh, up, the other one is uh, down. Uh, if we consider this is a DC, that is a DC. Now we can move uh, move this out. This uh, integration. Uh, differential is uh, cancel each other. You just have uh, time left. That is uh, tau one. And this side is uh, tau two minus tau one. So that is uh, the result. Here tau one is a charging time period. That is uh, a diagram here. That is a tau one there. Uh, here tau two minus tau one. That is uh, this time period. Okay, when uh, the discharge um, to zero, we stop. Uh, that is uh, by equation, we can describe in this way. <coughs> now, by this equation, here is a zero, we can move uh, this uh, term to that side. I have a V in, uh, minus V R E F, have a tau to minus tau one, and then you move tau to that side, to this side, I have divided by tau. So during this time period, we can have um, have a count of how many uh, pulse we can fill in this uh, counter. That is uh, N two. The first time period, we use N one. That is uh, how many pulse we can fill in this uh, this uh, counter. Uh, this is uh, your your uh, re representation of your inputs, uh, analog, analog inputs. Uh, we know this value um, N1 is fixed as we had discussed before. N1 is uh, this time period that is N1 here. Uh, for different, um, different um, inputs, you would have a different uh, N2. N2 that is uh, here is how many Pulse you can you can fill in here. I like to uh, indicate for a smaller one you have a shorter n two, a shorter time period you have a smaller n two. If you have a large input, you you follow this line and then this uh, fix uh, fix uh, ruling down. You have a longer time period so that you can have a bigger n two. So N2 now is, uh, is uh, representation of your analog input, where N1 is the number of counts during charging time period, N2 is the number of counts during discharge time period. So the feature of Durham ADC, we can summarize uh, as follows. Uh, accuracy is mostly determined by reference voltage and uh, integration time. So integration time is longer, you can have a more accurate uh, result. 
Now look at this um, this um, picture again. There's a figure again. You have a fixed fixed ramp up time tau one. That is here. This is a fixed right? fixed run ramp down rate. Uh, look at this uh, slow rate. This is a uh, fixed. Uh, uh, because so you need to integrate, uh, uh, the process is uh, slow. It is in millisecond uh, order. A second type of ADC is a uh, successive approximation. Actually, this type of uh, ADC is uh, based on DAC. Uh, central element is here, that is a DAC. Uh, this is uh, a comparator. Uh, we may say this is a plus minus. This is a comparator. Basically is uh, to compare those two levels, um, what is the uh, difference. And here is a logic uh, control uh, circuit. Uh, the basic principle of this, uh, how this, um, uh, circuit work is a try bit one by one or try DAC bit, DAC bit one by one from uh, MSB to RSB. That means uh, most significant bit. Try this bit first and then move for towards to least significant bit. If a bit, if the result here, if that, that result is too large, you go back to zero. If this value is still small, you keep one. And then you try bit one by one, one by one, until you try RSB. Uh, if we use uh, this uh, diagram, we can describe your set MSB to one, following bits to zero. And then you check the DAC. If a DAC is larger than VIN, VIN, that is, uh, that is uh, analog input you want uh, to measure. Uh, you try if that is large or smaller. If this is large, you set this bit back to zero. Otherwise, you keep this bit. Keep this bit is one because here you, you are set that is one. Uh, you check if this is uh, RSB. If it is not, you go back to set next bit to one, and then you circulate here until the last one, RSB, has been checked. Once you check the, the last one, now you make sure this uh, ADC reading is the same as uh, DAC. Now the last time you try this DAC reading actually is your ADC reading, right? As the objective is try this DAC bit by bit until you want this output here. Output here is as close to V in as close as possible. So once you tried uh, the last bit, you have uh, nothing else you can do. You can tell uh, this V in is V R E I F D divided by two N. So this is the same uh, equation as uh, DAC because the central element is uh, DAC. If we uh, compare those two types of uh, ADC, um, here is a dual ramp. That is successive approximation. The principle is different. Durant is based on integration. Successive approximation is a multiple uh, step comparison. In terms of speed, Durant is the millisecond order. Successive approximation is a microsecond order. Uh, accuracy, uh, Durant normally is a three and a half bit. And but some DURAM or multi-RAM can achieve eight and a half bit. That is a very high accuracy. A successive uh, approximation normally is a 12 bit or 16 bit. Uh, <coughs> those two types for different application. DURAM 
like a multimeter, like a bench instrument. Uh, they use a DB, they use a Durham. Uh, for most uh, electronic circuits, uh, they use a, a data acquisition system, they use a successive approximation. Now, the last bit is about uh, quantization. After ADC, a signal is uh, quanti uh, quantized both in time and amplitude. Uh, initially, you have this uh, straight line. After quantization, you would have a step by step, both in time, because you, your, your ADC, when you, when you collect, convert a data from analog to digital, you, you need a certain time. Uh, next time you convert here, next time. And also your, your digital value wouldn't be exactly the same as your ADC because you have a number limit in number of bits. Therefore, you would have this type of uh, quantization error. The quantization error, um, now this is uh, the best, the best uh, um, case is uh, equally uh, is a half bit, manner is a half bit. This is the best case. Uh, in this uh, best case, you have uh, quantization error is a plus minus RSB. So if we take a uh, root mean square of this, uh, we can use uh, use an uh, equation to describe that is you can work out this is zero point two eight nine RSB. So there is uh, an example. We uh, will go through this example during synchronous uh, session. Yeah, we finished uh, all um, recording. Uh, I will see you during synchronous uh, sessions. If you have uh, questions, either you can ask a question. Uh, yeah, the best way is by discussion boards. On Blackboard, we have a specific area, it's a discussion board. You can uh, put your question there. We can answer your question you know, within a day or two, at most uh, two days. Thank you very much. We uh, finish uh, recording of this uh, course module.